Hey guys, how's it going today? Hope everyone's doing real good. Uh, just getting some fret wire cut for this uh, Gibson Heritage here that I'm working on. Uh, it's got bound fretboard, so we got to cut the tangs off the uh, fret wire. So that little piece in the middle's got to go out, and we'll have to do it on. We'll have to do it on each end. You know what I mean? We got to nip that off, and then nip that off, and then you file them down. They do make a tool that does it, but this is just the way I've been doing it. So it works for me. So I take my cutters here and just come in on one side usually and make a cut. One side of the pliers usually works better than the other. There it is. And I'll just make another one this way. And when you do this, you don't want to manhandle this because you can bend this fret wire pretty easy so okay this is what we're looking at now where I just nipped it off now if you can see that yeah you can now okay so we got to file that down flat and how I do that I just use a three corner file and I use the rubber pad of my hammer here the handle and it holds it on there pretty nice. And then you just file that tang out of there. What's left where your cutter didn't get all the way. And again, don't try to manhandle this. You want just a light grip. You can make a jig to do this too, but I find this works good and it's pretty fast. So uh just take your time and you want to make you'll see the the tang kind of start to disappear and when you get to that point you got it that's pretty close right there let's get that little pat so let's see if i can get this in the shot that's what we're looking for now okay I just want to get that nice and flat. You can see it's shiny. And that's going to hang out over the binding. Okay. So now what I do is I'll set that in there. And I'm going to leave a little bit sticking out, which is okay. You don't need a ton. I'm just going to do a little bit right, so it's enough so I can clean the edge off when it goes down. Take the cutters and I'll get that thing in the way. There we go. Get my cutters in here nice and square. Cut that off. Now we're going to do the same process again. I'm going to nip some of this tang out and file it down again. Like I said, it's a uh, it's always one side of the cutters that cuts good and the other side don't for some reason. But this is time consuming for sure, but it's just the way I like to do it. I don't mind doing it this way and, you know, I know it's completely flat when I put it in there. Because if those edges aren't filed out completely flat, it'll sit up off your binding, and that isn't good. So, same thing again, I'm just going to file what's left, and it doesn't take but a second to clean it out of there, it really don't. I just try to do it easy, and not use a lot of down pressure, because I don't want to bend the wire, that's all. And once you get that cleaned out, you're good to go. Almost there. That's it. Okay. So now you can see that that fret wire has been T-topped on both sides, right? So now when that sits down in there, that binding is going to... Uh, that's gonna that's gonna then they're gonna sit over the binding, I should say. 
so that, that's where we're at right now and uh you know just set it in there and look you gotta you don't want to take too much of the tang out but you want to make sure you take enough because if you don't what will happen is uh the tang when you when you pound these in they're gonna grow you know what i'm saying as they flatten out and that tang can poke out through the binding so you got to make sure you take enough that's all and uh just repeat the process so I don't have all the fret wire yet to do this but I did have some left over I'm not gonna pound it in yet but I'm just getting as many cut and prepped as I can just while I have time and I'm idling so I've been using this guy on eBay uh, right here bitter bitter root guitars uh, this is what I'm using for wire right here, and it tells you all the, uh, dimensions, which is nice. This guy is, he has a website too, and he'll give you, you know, discounts after you buy from him a few times, and really cool, he, he ships, like, the same day, it's great. I recommend him, I don't know the man, but... I've been using him for a while and buying fret wire from him, so uh, that's just a good source, and he's right on eBay, and uh, I think his handle on eBay is Hildreth or something like that, I think that might even be his last name, uh, so yeah, check him out, so again, I just clipped, you know, the end of that tang off, as you can see, uh, maybe you can't, but now I'm going to file the rest of it out. And you just got to keep, like I said, repeating this same process until you get it. It doesn't take that long, really, and I don't know, it's something gratifying about doing it by hand and getting your gloves on every fret, so to speak, you know what I mean? I mean, you're watching this in real time, and I'm not using much for pressure here. So, that's all it takes that long to do one end, you know? And there it is. It's all cleaned. It's right up under it. And it's just less damage than, you know, trying to use nothing but cutters and... I just be real careful when I do this with my cutters because you can bend the fret wire just with the cutters alone. Uh, just how you clamp onto it and that kind of thing. So, uh, you know, just take your time, that's all. If you take your time, it will it will work every single time for you. So, like I said, it just takes a minute to get that out and... We're going to file this one right off. And we'll be sound as a pound here in a minute. And uh, eventually, you know, when I do refret this, I'll, I'll do that right in real time for you guys too so you can see how it's done. And I'm going to glue these ones in. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. And that depends mostly on uh, the fret slots and whether I'm whether I'm trying to compress the frets and and uh, you know actually take some if it's bowed and there's no truss rod you can put bigger fret wire in and compensate and try to bend some of that bow out which I've done I shot a video on that actually on a true tone guitar that belongs to a friend of mine it's a good video if you want to check that out too but uh we're getting there it just takes a little time like i said i got two pieces left uh, that'll be three so i'll need to do one two three four five six seven more when the fret wire comes in and that might be coming today actually i'll have to look uh another plug guys i wanted to go show you guys these okay 
These are Diodarios. I got uh, 10 sets of them for, uh, it was 30 bucks from this outfit. I don't know if you've ever heard of these guys. Subway Guitars, there you go. Check it out. They say they got all kinds of stuff. Uh, 3,000 guitars, basses, amps, ukes, mandos, everything. So they treated me good on the strings and they shipped them out quick. So I don't know if it's some kind of, you know, wholesale buyer or something. I don't know. But you can check them out right there. Easy Lee and Fat Dog, Subway Guitars. That was a good buy, three bucks a set. I can't, I can't complain. So, anyway, guys, thanks for checking this one out, and uh, I'm hoping to get this one done pretty soon. As soon as I get the fret wire in, I've got a brand new set of Planet Waves uh, locking auto trim tuners coming for this too. Should look good, and they'll work great. So, and they won't be. Uh, I can put them in the same holes, you know, these tunas have one screw on the back and that's it, and this, these will line right up, so it's a direct replacement, no new, no new holes, so that's always nice. Okay guys, hang in there, we'll see you soon.